breaking news after 25 years of being in Call of Duty Mobile Prison, YouTube Sensation Merch Music has been unbanned from the game. He will now provide you with the latest news about Warzone Mobile while dumping on noobs in COD. You can't put me down for long. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and I am back on Call of Duty Mobile. I have been unbanned. I served my 24 hours, but I am back to play some COD Mobile. We're gonna be doing the seasonal challenge on COD Mobile to get the Disc of Doom. Yeah, we're gonna unlock the D13 sector from Black Ops 3. The Disc Gun, Pizza Gun, whatever you want a Frisbee gun. It's got a million names, but it's right here. I've already done a lot of the other challenges. I only have two more to go. We have to kill 10 enemies with a customized weapon from a Lodi. And then the last challenge is just placing in the top three in a BR game once. That should be pretty easy. I figured this would be the perfect thing to play while I talk to you guys about a new Call of Duty game called Warzone Mobile. I I know I'm a couple weeks late to this news, but I wanted to talk about it anyway because it's really interesting. It's a brand new COD game. Essentially, rumors are hinting at the idea that there will be a new mobile game and it's gonna be just Warzone. We can get the H-Bra from Advanced Warfare. This is the perfect combo. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys have no idea. I'm such a pro at COD Mobile. This is probably gonna be a 500 kill game. Warzone Mobile. I'm ready. This guy doesn't even know about my existence. Wow. And he's dead. You're done. Come on. I really think you can hide down here. Oh, hit fired. <laughs> Reloading. But yeah, guys, it's rumored that Warzone Mobile is basically going to be Call of Duty Mobile, but just the Battle Royale aspect. It is a little strange to think about considering that, you know, Call of Duty Mobile has so much content. It's got tons of multiplayer stuff. It's had zombies before. I don't know if it still has zombies or if, like, you can still play them. But you also have this map, and I think they even have Alcatraz as well. So the rumors of there being Warzone Mobile in 2022 is a little strange. But so far, it's rumored that there's, like, an entire team behind it that got, like, put together. And I'm pretty sure we all know the main reason why they would make a move like this. We are very passionate about and love the Call of Duty community, and we just can't wait to bring you guys another mobile game and Warzone Battle Royale game. It's definitely totally not for the potential millions, if not billions, if not trillions of dollars they can make by plowing more microtransactions into a free-to-play mobile Call of Duty game. It can't be that at all. You got this pleb. Look, he's all weak. What? Oh, Eric, he's scanning for you. He uses Exo Scan. I will Exo get you. Wow, my aim is so good. You know you're done. Five kills, boy. Wait. To be perfectly honest, I actually really like the Battle Royale on Call of Duty Mobile. Like, it's just really simplified. I know that sounds bad. Like, it, it is really dumbed down as far as it goes for, like, the looting. Everything is, like, automatically picked up. Your parachute automatically deploys. It's very simplified. It's very dumbed down. But I do like it for that reason because I'm stupid. But I'm not, like, some Battle Royale elitist. Like, I, if it's fun, it's fun. I want to have fun and I want to enjoy playing the game. To me, spending the entire game looting can get really boring. So, like, the fact that it's really simplified and, like, efficient is nice. But the leaks and rumors about Warzone Mobile does beg the question. Question. Do we need a game like Warzone Mobile? Not really. Again, we basically got this in Call of Duty Mobile already. Like, why do we need another game? And like I said, it's because they're really passionate about innovating for the Call of Duty community, guys. And honestly, I kind of get where they're coming from. You know, Warzone and Call of Duty Mobile are their top performing games. So why not, you know, put the two together, make them have a baby? It is what it is. You wouldn't take a game like Call of Duty Vanguard and then release Vanguard Mobile when the game is underperforming and underselling. It just doesn't make sense. It's just one of those things where Warzone Mobile is basically a game that they can obviously make a huge profit on, but it's not necessarily a game like for the fans for the community i feel like it might be in the sense that there's a shit ton of people playing call of duty mobile and call of duty warzone but at the same time they could just continue to expand call of duty mobile and just focus on that the only reason i can think of for why they would want to make warzone mobile and have a separate game is because call of duty mobile is getting like too much content i got temporarily banned for trying to play call of duty mobile on pc using the blue stacks emulator so i had to re-download everything again using game loop and man there is so much content you have to re-download every single time you try to get this game it is pretty ridiculous. We finally have our custom gun. I've got to get 10 more kills. Let's go, Gunzo. Oh, this RPD is terrible. Swim for your life, Gunzo. Swim. Oh my god. He's he's in the water. I'm in the water too. You're out. Oh, there they are. You're out. <laughs> He exploded after dying. Oh my god. It's actually so nice playing Call of Duty Mobile on PC. Like, I was actually doing the challenges playing on my phone. I was still, like, winning a lot of games, getting lots of kills and shit like that. But, man, it is so hard to see on your tiny little phone screen. At least compared to playing the game basically in 4K. Gunzo is swimming in 4K. That That is fantastic. He's here in the water. There's two of them in the water. Got him. He's out. Tap fire, Gunzo. You can do this. We have 14 kills, man. And I'm gonna win. I'm not gonna get killed by a hacker. Let's use the armor. We gotta have every little advantage here at the end. Oh God, it's lagging. I hear feet. He's behind. <laughs> you pleb. <laughs> There's only one left. Oh my God, I thought that was a person. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, there's the last guy. We have our last guy. Come on, buddy. I'm right here. Just end it. There we go. That was a terrible game. Only 16 kills, Eric. What are you doing? If you're playing Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale, you have to drop at least 50 kills. Oh my god. Wait, it's playing Black Ops 2 music right now? Why? That's actually kind of awesome, though. All right, we're going from the veteran from, from the US, US Merc to veteran three. How many more kills do we need? We need three more with a loady gun. Hopefully, I can do all of that in one game. And then we'll have the disc gun. I can check it out. We can use it. I can't wait, man. Does COD Mobile have inspections? Oh yeah, oh my god, we can inspect now. I forgot you can do that. I'm looking at my knife, look at that, that is sick. You know, that is something that's pretty interesting. Like, I don't know exactly why they'd want to go ahead and make a separate Warzone mobile game when so many people have actually bought microtransactions and spent money on COD Mobile. Unless, of course, there's some way that they can integrate that content over. I think that's kind of like, kind of just a shitty thing. Really no other way to put it. We can land here. We can land here, yes. Gunzo out! Here we go! <laughs> His voice lines magically started working. That's amazing. I think they brought Gunzo's voice back. Like, you have to download it. I'm hot! <gasps> oh, God. The enemies. Enemy death. <laughs> Speaking of microtransactions carrying over, you know, I eventually got the Call of Duty Online microtransaction stuff to carry over once the game was killed off. I got all kinds of bonus stuff on Call of Duty Mobile, but at the time, I wasn't really playing. So it really didn't, like, it didn't help me in any way. It didn't really give me all that much, you know? And I would really hope that if they make a Warzone Mobile game that they do not cancel Call of Duty Mobile. Like, they don't get rid of it. Because even though I seem to forget about this game quite a bit, it is pretty awesome now that i have it working on pc and i'm not gonna get banned anymore like yeah i'm down to play and record it if you guys want to see more but overall warzone mobile does sound pretty interesting it's not gonna be like the top game for me you know what i mean i personally would like to see a game like call of duty mobile come to consoles and pcs i actually think it would be an incredible idea if they took call of duty mobile and they had it on like pc and console and then just enabled crossplay. the game would be huge there would be tens of millions of people playing this climb gunzo climb we're so close to the loady oh my gosh confirm it there's a guy here there's a fucking guy here I hear him. I knew it. Die. Enemies. <laughs> oh, we got a guy. Come back here. Gunza wants to say hi. <laughs> All right, one more kill. Then we just have to place top three and we'll get the disc gun. Parachute! Go, Gunzo! <laughs> There's so many interesting things that could happen with Warzone Mobile. Like, what if Warzone Mobile actually integrates with the existing console and PC versions? You would have people on console and PC playing against people on their phones. Like, that'd be hilarious. It's like what I'm doing right now. Playing Call of Duty Mobile on PC. Having a fucking blast because it's just so easy. There's gonna be people who play on mobile that are, like, freakishly good and they'll beat people who play on console and PC. It's just really interesting to think about. Like, would Warzone Mobile only be for mobile, like, players or is it going to integrate with the existing warzone either way it could turn out like call of duty mobile where you can get an emulator and you can play it on pc anyway i'm still not 100 percent sure if call of duty mobile has input based matchmaking but it could be a repeat situation where you can get the game on an emulator and people will still be playing mobile games on pc and you guys already know i'm not really opposed to that i think it's hilarious people are allowed to play however they want to and i mean if it is an issue just have people who play on pc matchmake against other people who are also using emulators on pc i really don't mind the whole reason why i do this is because one it's easier to to record. And the second reason is that when I play Call of Duty Mobile on PC, I honestly feel like I've got Call of Duty Online back. Probably the most redeeming quality, honestly, because there's just so many crazy ass guns. Like, I can show you guys some of the ridiculous variants they have now. It just brings back those memories and those vibes, and I love that about Call of Duty Mobile. Come on, guys. Alright, so we're gonna be in the top three. Let's see if we can get every challenge done in one match. He's going for the... Oh! He's going for the gear package! He's done! Wait, that was it? Winner. Did the other guy die? I, I missed that. Oh, well, there's another win. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you guys are garbage. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> All right, we're leveling up. Let's see where are we at. Veteran four. I don't know if I got the disc gun. We got the battle pass ranked up. Let's see, did we get it? A disc of doom? Oh, I, I still have to place in the top three. Okay, let's go again, Gunzo. You got this. Oh God. Kilo bolt action. Oh dear. Got someone dropping in. Oh, I'm missing these. Gunzo, what the frick? Gunzo! I can't use these pass weapons. Need futuristic. Engaging the enemy. You're done. Gunzo, what the frick? There you go. <gasps> reload, reload, reload. Come on. Oh, he's out. Boom. <laughs> this thing's not bad. But yeah, I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you think about the idea of getting a Warzone mobile game this year? Do you think it's pointless? Do you think it's just a money grab? Or are you actually excited for it? Do you think it's a good move? I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions on it. I'm obviously kind of on the fence. Like, I don't think it's a completely necessary game. But I'm sure it's a real passion project, you know? Just really passionate about wanting to make that game. And by passionate, I mean drown in money! As a result of making the game. I hear feet. I knew it. I knew it. I heard the feet. Don't think so, buddy. Enemy down. Now, I'm almost out of MP5 ammo. I gotta be careful here. Where'd this guy go? Oh, there you are. All right, we're good. We're good. The airdrop is coming. Where you going, buddy? Out. 
Just like that. Guns on you freaking goofball, you were amazing. Engaging the enemies. And You're out. Oh my god, he's just still looking <laughs> Oh my god, what? That's going on my Taj. What is it? Guns, what are you doing? Oh, oh, we have to aim. Okay, there you go. Is it any good? Oh god, I don't like it that much. Engaging the enemy. Okay, that's not too bad. I see you in there. <laughs> you can run. But you- oh, he's already dead, shit. Get him, Gunzo, get him! He's- wow. You hit the- this guy went to the care package too, what, do you not loot it? Look, there's all kinds of good shit- we have the war machine. The airdrop is coming. War machine is terrible. I don't like it. Oh, wait- oh, we won! <laughs> Let's go! Won every single game, got tons of kills. That's how it's done. I want to see that disc gun. Getting all kinds of stuff. Oh my god, look at all that. Ah, the D13 sector, let's go! But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about Warzone Mobile and also playing some COD Mobile. I got unbanned and I finally got the D13 sector. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more Call of Duty Mobile stuff with the D13 sector pizza gun, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. We are taking the lead! Bombs being planted on our ammo supply. Oh, what was the